I started coding at around age 15. I went to the college to study computer science and mathematics. From where he started and how he started out, I'm very proud. It is really stories like a Abiola's that make me the most proud of the enormous impact we make in the world. I saw Abiola and his innovation at a very early point and I figured this is someone that I can help grow. Growing up in Nigeria, I was always at Microsoft office every weekend in order to get technical support from the evangelists. Um, this is something you don't see on other platforms. Abiola started as a Microsoft student partner and eventually represented Nigeria the Imagine Cup final in 2010 for Nigeria. I met him perchance the time we were bringing Windows Phone to Nigeria. And I figured, hey, this guy is a smart guy. If we take him now and we groom him and help him to monetize and help him to grow, where will we be in two years? Two years happens to be now. After dabbling in Android development, he started his own company, Gamsol, as a CEO. And this company now has a portfolio of 19 apps only on Windows Phone with over 6 million downloads. We tend to believe that people who can create high-end games can only come from the developed nation. But that's not true because it all depends on access to the right information and tools. The young generation absorbing the technology and working on our platform can break all the barriers that are out there. And this, this is important because it brings small businesses that can actually build the economy in, in countries all over the continent, especially uh, Nigeria. The fact that a story like this could come out very quickly from a student to now a business owner, something that, that we're very proud of collectively as a, as, a, as a company. I'm also very proud of the fact that he's actually being seen as a mentor to others as well. So in Abiola's case, if we can inspire, if we can enable, if we can support more of his kind, I think we can begin to make a very meaningful impact. Abiola is an amazing example of the Africa that we want the world to know about. He's young, he's ambitious, he's creative, and he's very, very hardworking. Abiola is Africa. All right, I am honored to be with you here, Abiola. This is an inspiring story. Thank you very much. So how did you get into programming? Well, I started writing computer programs at a very young age, uh -huh. uh, mainly because um, I had a brother that was studying computing in school as a then, mm -hmm. and I was still at home then. So um, it's textbooks and all that, I'll pick them up and yeah, look around at what he has been doing and just kind of practice. I, I love that. I mean, I was born in the United States, you were born in Nigeria, but the same passion for, for writing code, just when something works, mm -hmm. I think that feeling is universal. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about the first thing you ever wrote and how, what was that feeling like? Um, I think the first thing I ever wrote was actually kind of like a, um, a guessing game, uh -huh. sort of, yeah. And uh, it was basically based on things I've read on, um, coders that has done amazing things around the world. So as a person, I just want to be um, something like that. So I want to learn how to program, even though I've not gotten into university then. Um, 
So yeah, basically the feeling was awesome, of course, for you to see that you created something and we brought out a good result. And it uh, works. Yeah, it worked, yeah. And also for coding, coding is unique in the sense that irrespective of where you are, um, you can learn how to program in the sense that unlike say me uh, mechanical engineering right. and all that where you need some specific address and all that but for coding it's all about um, access to the right information your internet software and your computer and you're ready to go yeah. that's amazing so you were you were a finalist in the imagine cup yes yeah, so what was it that you wrote and how did it go so um, back in school um, myself and my team we saw that um, education, our education was really poor in, I mean, in my school. It wasn't what we expected we are going to be learning that we got in school to meet. Um, so we decided to create some sort of like a virtual classroom whereby when, if you have a very good teacher in another part of the world, a student can be somewhere else and kind of just learn from that. So um, basically that was what we, uh, created myself and my team members. So in order to break the barrier of, um, we don't have quality teachers in my school, mm -hmm. but if we have another very good teacher somewhere else, we can learn and benefit from those people. Yes, so so this good. app would allow people that maybe don't have access to good teachers to have really good teachers exactly. from somewhere else. Exactly. That's an inspiring application in and of itself. Yeah. So you. now, what do you do? <laughs> I started a gaming company called uh -huh. Game Soul. Game Soul. Yeah, so um, totally now we've had up to 35 games. Yeah, you saw when we had about 19 games. But uh -huh. yeah, we create little, little casual games and yeah, we develop for the Windows platform. Yeah, feature phones too because we're in Africa. Yeah. Got it. So well, do you, do you have an example we can look at of some of your games? Yeah, I have a trailer video of. Um, one of our, so this is a 3D runner game. Um, it kind of like reflects what happens in society that we live in, in the sense that... Um, the society you live in, in what yeah. sense? In the sense that, I mean, for the first time, Africans could actually play games that shows like characters that are Africans in, I mean, and um, what we pass through every day is like a policeman taking bribe from a bus conductor <laughs> and at the end of the day, the bus conductor tr trying to run away and it becomes a 3D runner game, endless runner game. So yeah, basically that was what we did. And th that's, not, that's not like a, that's not easy to do. What did you write that in? Okay, so um, for the PC version, it was on Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine, I, okay. And for Windows Phone, it was on Unity. Unity. Yeah, so, sure. so you have sort of, this is like, inv look, I, the other day, I'm not between us girls kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I downloaded Unity and I downloaded Unreal and I started getting into it. It's not trivial stuff. This is complicated stuff. How did you, how, so say, say you want to, Coach me, and you want to say, I want to become a game developer. Say, set, tell me, how can I sort of work up to learning those technologies? How did you do it? I mean, uh, for me, I first mastered the language I was using first. I mean, before I even got to Unity and Oreo, I've been coding with XNA. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our games are actually on XNA, most of the games. So um, I read C Sharp well. So uh, basically, I go through, actually, I mean, this is a very, very great moment for me in the sense that uh, back home, every little access we have to the internet, we watch Channel 9 oh, cool. to kind of like see or, um, and download some sample codes, try to go through it. I remember uh, when you had um, the Taptitude guy on, on uh, Channel 9 uh -huh. and he gave some examples. So basically that was how I was able to learn because I mean, um, um, it's a global world and um, Every information can be accessed anywhere in the world, and access to that information is all we need in order to do um, unimaginable things. Got it. So, what advice do you have to say? There's some there's some kid watching out there that's like she just says, "Hey, I want to be a game developer, just like Abiola." What what advice do you have to her for her? I mean, as a game developer, you have to understand that it's not just about the coding alone, it's more about, um, it's a combination of science and 
arts, so um, the literature, the science. So first master how to code properly, master your um, data structure and algorithm well, then everything kind of seems easy because as soon as you imagine a particular scenario, it makes it very easy for you to tackle the, the problem and kind of like solve it, yeah. That's awesome. So how many people, is, is it just you and your company? Are you trying to get more people to help you write code? So, uh, yeah, it started with me alone, and now we have a team of about 13 guys. Um, and yeah, a lot of animators, we have some animators, we have graphic designers, yeah, so it's growing, basically. That's wonderful, this. and the best part about this story, mm. for me, is that you can really be anywhere and learn to code. Yeah, sure. Definitely, and I think everyone should learn to code, actually. <laughs> Every, everyone should learn to code. Yeah. So any parting words for our viewers? Anything you want to say? Yeah, um, I think uh, you guys have done a great work, and uh, you've helped. I mean, because the biggest part of what you are doing, what um, people who are creating information online are doing, is not just the fact that they are just creating the information, they are helping lives because there might be a kid somewhere out there in a desert or wherever that um, just kind of dream to achieve something, they will go online, see that information and to be of great help to them. Um, I remember the first tutorial I read online uh, on XNA development. Yeah, someone just wrote the tutorial online I don't know if the person was expecting to get a reward, but then there was a kid there in school then learning this tutorial step after step, and yeah, he kind of like pushed me into XNA development then, so yeah. And then you've keep, just sort of gone up from there, right? Exactly, so keep sharing every information you have, everything you know, keep sharing, and people will be consuming, and it will be helping lives out there. Well, thanks so much. You inspire me. I mean, I feel, like, I feel like I haven't done enough in life to match what you're doing. Uh, no. <laughs> and you know what? You inspire me to go out there and write a game or go out there and write some code or do what I'm passionate about when it comes to technology. Abiola, thanks for stopping by. Thank you very much. And we expect great things to hear. Uh, hear we expect to hear great things about you. In Thank the you very much. Thank thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Take care.